Hello everyone. My name is Carolyn Jackson, and as many of you know, I am the CEO of St. Vincent Hospital. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, everyone at St. Vincent Hospital must wear a mask to protect themselves and others. However, since there is no clinical activity occurring in this unit today, I am going to take my mask off so you can hear me better. I want to take a moment and really reflect on the current situation in Worcester and across the country. Ever since COVID-19 became a serious threat to our nation, our state, and our community, the team at St. Vincent Hospital has been working around the clock to adapt and care for our patients. Make no mistake, regardless of the public dispute between St. Vincent Hospital and the Massachusetts Nurses Association, I am extremely grateful for every nurse who walks through these doors day after day with pride and with bravery to care for patients in the middle of this pandemic. And from the feedback I receive from many frontline nurses, they are grateful for the partnership with St. Vincent every day. While we have worked diligently to provide this care, we have also been acutely impacted by a decline in surgeries and other medical care. You know firsthand as you walk through the halls and see departments like this one largely sitting idle. This is due to stay at home advisories and government orders canceling elective care, which have essentially halted or limited activity in numerous areas. We have had to close or reduce some of our normal services to focus on the most pressing need, which is fighting this pandemic. Just as this pandemic has changed the way each of us goes about our daily lives, it has changed the way our hospital operates, forcing us to make difficult decisions to ensure we are putting our resources in the right places to care for patients who need us the most. It is of critical importance that the nurses and other employees who typically work in, in the units impacted by the executive orders are either redeployed to help provide COVID care or to do other necessary work in the hospital. Otherwise, in this crisis, no person should be in the hospital using valuable PPE unless they need to be. I want to recognize those nurses who typically work in these areas and have requested to participate in our furlough program, which has been only voluntary for bedside nurses, not mandatory. They are keeping themselves and the community safe to be ready for the breadth of care St. Vincent provides to the community when it is time to open up fully again. Many other nurses from these areas have chosen to be trained to support our COVID-19 treatment operations, and we are thankful for that as well. As we continue to adapt to the new normal in providing healthcare during the COVID pandemic, one thing has become clear. We must make full use of everything we have in our arsenal and be as flexible as possible. Our commitment to this community is that we remain true to our values and the high standards we set for top quality care. It means that we continue to prioritize safety and proper training without compromise, no matter what role each one of us serves in our hospital. It means we continue to have the utmost integrity in our actions and how we treat our caregivers and our patients with support and compassion in these most vulnerable moments. I want to extend appreciation for our local and state leaders and our Congressman's office who have been in close contact with us through this challenging time. The funding support through Governor Baker and the legislature, along with the CARES Act and other federal relief, have helped our hospitals and employees when we have needed it the most. Like many things today, this is necessary but not sufficient support. It has enabled us to continue to operate amid the significant strain that the pandemic has put on our operations and financial stability. My job is to keep our doors open, preserve services, continue to invest in important life safety infrastructure during this crisis, support our community, and come through the other side to position ourselves to repay many of these loans quickly. While these are challenging times for our hospital, there are silver linings in every situation. 
One of those for me is getting to know our dedicated caregivers better than ever before by personally visiting all of the areas caring for COVID patients frequently. I see it firsthand. I listen to you. I celebrate and share your successes with you. And I try to provide comfort when the situation brings you to tears. Your feedback helps us adjust how we are managing this crisis day by day, and it helps us improve how we work as a team. Every day, I find myself bragging about the outstanding work our caregivers are doing and the sincere compassion you have for the patients we serve. Last week, when all of the Worcester County police, fire, and EMS agencies circled our hospital with a healthcare appreciation parade, I was deeply touched by the admiration shown for our team by the community we serve. That is the support we need to encourage both our patients and our caregivers. Also last week, Worcester Mayor Joe Petty added me to his healthcare hero list, and I am touched by that recognition. Thank you, Mayor Petty. However, I am passing that designation on to the real heroes of today, the men and women in this building who are providing direct care to our COVID patients around the clock. I want to end by reiterating my appreciation for all of you who have helped us serve our community during this time. You are all a testament that compassionate care is not just something that we hope for. Compassionate care is a reality, thanks to our team here at St. Vincent Hospital.